do Careful. are you and dave gonna do like a like the mike tyson uh jake paul uh <laughs> recap also do you know how excited uh, i am for that i looked at my wife and i said i want to go to arlington for that fight yeah no I, i've never I seen a tyson fight never seen it um i i mean i don't know we haven't discussed it but uh, i think it is it is it's a fascinating thing the problem is is this audience uh that you know that pays for the subscription it's mostly a pro wrestling audience even the mma stuff is less popular than it than it has been in the past so you know if we do stuff it's usually has to be about pro wrestling unless it's a big ufc show i wonder what the crossover is with the audience who watches pro wrestling and the mike tyson I, jake paul thing I, I i i don't know for me I, i'm so into it like i want to see tyson just knock his head off yeah <laughs> i really i mean i i you know he's one of the greatest boxes of all time against one of the best uh i guess attraction fighters of all time right he would one be an attraction of, one boxer. of the best marketers of himself in a long time you know i think jake paul i gotta tell you jake paul jake paul is an unbelievable athlete great boxer same with his brother same with logan great boxers but the 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 fury fight the tommy fury fight mm -hmm. was very telling to yeah. uh his his actual professional ability not that he you know he put up a fight for sure, but Tommy Fury is not a top of the line boxer. No. And I don't care. Mike Tyson's 57 years old, and this guy is doing all of the top of the line training and analytical uh, boxing. Did you see what they were doing with um, how they were training him? I, or... I only saw the, the little workout video that he put up. So w when he did, when he did the... Um, the the fight over the pandemic against Roy Jones, right? Yes. Roy Jones Jr. He was doing like muscle stimulation where they're they're strapping him to see like if there's any muscle fatigue and they're charging those muscles up. I mean, they were doing state of the art endurance stuff with this guy. And you look at him, you know, he's 57 years old. I, you know, fatigue could be a thing. You know, he's gotten hit in the head a whole lot more than than Jake Paul has in his life. That could play a part, but he's still Mike Tyson, and this guy is not wired like anybody else on this planet. So I mean, he, he's I'm probably so going to be by this. He's probably going to be thirty pounds heavier as well, because Jake is a you know, if Jake was actually a competitive boxer versus the attraction fighter that he is, I'm guessing he would probably at at best be uh, a super middleweight. And that's like yeah. 168. And so Tyson is legitimately 225, 230 pounds. By the way, state of the art, Mike's got to be on some state of the art testosterone too, because that dude oh, looks he, of great. Of course he is. For there's, no, there's no USADA testing. Yeah, I don't think so. That's part, probably partially why the fight's also in Texas. But, uh, but yeah. you know, he's going to have a lot of size on Jake. Jake's going to put on weight just because he's going to need to be bigger. I don't know if it's going to be good weight for him. But I think yeah. Jake's best scenario, his best strategy is to hope that he can stay away from Mike for like three or four rounds and hope that Mike gets tired and then he can he can come in and land some shots because Mike still hits harder than Jake could even imagine to hit. So that's going to be the intrigue. But yeah, well, well if, if me and Dave don't do something, then maybe you and me have to do something.